number of years ago, I went out ice fishing with a buddy of mine. And I noticed he rigged up his line with like a little twister tail jig or something like that. And then above the jig itself, he had a couple of those split shots with the, the wings or ears on them. I looked down his hole because he was just leaving his rod in a holder basically and the bait was just supposed to be sitting there statically, right? And I kid you not, his bait was spinning in circles. It would wind up to a point where it couldn't wind anymore, then it would stop, and then it would spin right back around the other way. And it kept doing this the whole time it was down the hole. And the reason it, it was doing that was because of those split shots. And this is on the lake. So, you just imagine, if you're fishing water with current like this, especially like down there, can you imagine what it's doing to your bait as it's flowing down the river? You don't have that issue with the round split shot. And so that's why I highly recommend using the round split shots and ones that you can reuse if possible. round split shot. It's made by Water Gremlin and for river fishing you want to actually start with your heavier weight closer up to your float and then you gradually start going to smaller weights and I like to put one just above my, uh, my swivel here which connects to my floral carbon leader which is a, a clear line that you can use for river fishing. Kind of gives you more of a stealthy profile. This main line, I believe, is 12 pound test, and then it goes to floral carbon leader. You can use a lot lighter. You can use eight, six, even four pound test if you want, if the river conditions are really tough and the fish are line shot, the split shot with the wings on the end. But basically on the back end here there'd be a spot where you can clamp down and open up the split shot again. Now you can still do that with these round split shots and it's really simple. Right here on the end you can see it's got a bit of a beak on there. This is actually these are actually specifically made for the split rings on, say, your, your crankbait bodies and different types of lures so that you can clamp down and spread the split ring so that you can open it up and either take hooks off or put new ones on. You just simply take that beak end and you just press on the, the opening there and it spreads it apart so that you can take it off easily like I just did now. We like to use the water gremlin style because they they actually have it's not it's not totally flat all across the split shot here. It's got a little bit of a lip that comes up. And uh, so that helps to be able to reuse them again. If you have the split shot that is straight flat across and you clamp it shut, it's really difficult to open them up again and reuse them. So that's my reason why I like to use these. So that is my tip for river fishing and the types of split shot you should, should be using. If you found this video helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe. You'll be able to see more videos like this.